In this video we are processing the Milky Way in Capture One Pro 10 and going from out of camera to out of this world. Hi there, Roman Hammer here. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So today we are working on this Milky Way single frame, which I took uh, last weekend. Basically we're starting with... So let's get started. The way that I always begin with white balances is a very interesting way. Uh, we bring up the saturation slider up to 100 to have this crazy looking color blown out image. And then we zoom in on a darker part of our image. And from here we are tweaking our temperature between blues or yellows. And you have to find the point uh, which has enough yellows and blues in. Then zoom out of the image and tweak the tint between magenta and green. Okay, it seems it's a good balance right here. We have some uh, yellows and blues and magentas and green in there. So uh, after that we are bringing down our saturation slider and get a black and white sky and a well balanced image. In the next step we are doing some basic raw adjustments but before we have to remove this ugly vignetting in our lens uh, correction tool here and then we have to tweak this uh, lightning slider up to remove this vignette. Now it's time for our basic raw adjustments so we bring up our contrast slider up to uh, maybe 30 bring down our lightning slider just a little bit and in the next step we need our HDR tool. So we bring up our highlight slider up to 100 to bring more contrast in our blacks and middles. After that we bring in our shadow slider just a tiny bit. So what we're gonna do next is the uh, haze our whole image, so we have a little workaround for it. So go to settings in the lightning tab and there is our level mode and there is a setting for RGB channel and red, green and blue channel. We choose the red, green and blue channel, click our X and after that we just click on the a for automatic. Now we have more contrast in our Milky Way and no hazing parts in our image. So our next steps uh, are the last step in our basic adjustments uh, in lightning and contrast. So to get more contrast and details in our Milky Way at week the Luma curve. Uh, to add more contrast without uh, adding saturations as the normal RGB curve do. Uh, the Luma curve is similar to uh, the curve in Photoshop in luminance mode. So we set one point in our highlight uh, shadows and one point in our highlights and then we bring down our first point and get more contrast and same in our highlights point. 
The next step, I add some clarity to get more details in, uh, in the sky. Adjust subtle adjustments in, in the clarity slider up to eight. And next, the structures and slider up to, um, I think 15 is enough. So now we have um, a vignetting again. So we tweak this with our vignetting slider. After that, we are tweaking some colors in our Milky Way shot. So we up the saturation slider to 100 and then change to our color editor. So you pick the eyedropper and take a sample in our center of our, your Milky Way. So okay. Um, first, I tweak the U slider. If you tweak it to the left, you add more magenta. And if you tweak it to the right, you add more green to your image. So, um, I think we need more magenta and a little bit more saturation. So, okay. Next, uh, Another sample in our Milky Way is this orange part, or reddish part. And the same procedure, you add more magenta or more green, if you like it. Um, so I tweak it more to the left and a little bit more saturation. So after that, you bring up uh, down your saturation slider to zero and you have more color in your Milky Way. So we are now ready for our local adjustment. In the local adjustments uh, tab, we are gonna to make the whole look of our Milky Way shot. So what we need is a new layer for our foreground, for our mountains, and all in all, three layers for our sky. One for our Milky Way center and one layer for each side. So let's get started. First, we need a layer for our mountain, so press the plus button and name it to mountain. Then, press G for our gradient tool or press your mouse, uh, left mouse button and choose the right option. So, G for the gradient, press M for our mask and then set your gradient from the bottom of our, your image up to the mountain. So, nice. Then we need uh, our HDR tool. And get up to uh, 25, 20, 25. I think. And the next slider we need is our lightning slider. So we do some subtle changes in our first layer. Just subtle and don't do much in this lightning slider so otherwise it would uh, look fake in your image. The next two layers are for the parts of the si side of our Milky Way. So press the plus button and name it to uh, 
guy left, press the G for gradient, press M for masking mode and then draw your mask. So, okay, now we have to tweak our mask. So press the eraser tool with E and erase or remove the mask on your foreground. Okay. Now press M to hide your mask and then slide down your lightning slider just a little bit. Okay. Then another layer for the right part of your Sky, sky, right. Then press G, press M. Then try your mask. And tweak the other part. So finally, we're gonna to tweak the center part of our Milky Way. So what we're gonna do is uh, add a new layer and call it Milky Way. Next step, and we need the brush tool. And before we start painting in the center of our Milky Way, we have to set a uh, or adjust our Milky Way. So we have to set the brush size, hardness to zero, opacity to 100, and flow between 20 and 40, and press M, and we painting in our Milky Way. Okay, press M and then we're adding more contrast with our contrast slider. Just a tiny bit and adding more saturation. Okay, and otherwise we slide down a little bit the first lightning slider. And so we have uh, more details, more contrast and more color in our Milky Way Center. The last steps of this tutorial is for removing this disturbing object in the foreground. So um, click and hold the plus icon and there is now a drop down menu to choose a different kind of layers. A basic adjustment layer, a clone layer and a heal layer. Let's choose the heal layer. Then we press B and pick the brush tool. In this case, it's a, a healing brush. Select and source point in your image and then 
paint over the object you want to remove. Okay, press B and do the same process for another one, object, and So I hope you will find this tutorial useful and you'll come check my channel out next time. To make sure you catch future videos, be sure to subscribe to this channel and also meet me at facebook.com slash roman.hammer.photography. Bye for now.